Jack, shout out to our brother Udonis Haslam, who just recently got his jersey retired in Miami. Uh, you went out and, and, and gave him a shout out, gave him his flowers, uh, said it was well deserved. And then our guy, uh, mm-hmm. P Square, Paul Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> OG Bird. <Fucking> <laughs> hey, <laughs> OG Bird. Paul said it was given, <clears throat> yeah. opposed to earned. Um, obviously, I fuck with Paul heavy. We <laughs> we work out every day. UD and I came into the league together. Uh, when you saw what Paul, first of all, thoughts on UD getting his jersey retired? I mean, like I said, it felt like it's it's an honor for him because it felt like all the real ones, you know, that that'll never see that day. It felt like we got our jersey retired. You know what I'm saying? He, mm, mm. He's, he's the definition of solid. You know what I'm saying? He's the definition of stand on his moral. He's loyal, a lawyer. He's been up for a long time, got multiple championships. He played his role to a T. He, we always talk about being a star on your at your role. He, he is the he's the mascot of that. So for what he's done for the city, being a hometown boy, for being a lawyer, the relationship he has with Pat Riley, what he's done to the team, the relationship we had, he has with the guys that come through there. And that's respected by the guys who come through there and won championships. Nobody deserves more than, than UD. So I just wanted to give him his flowers from a real one to a real one. You know, I felt like my jersey got retired right on that day. Right up. I love that. And, I mean, if you think about his story, man, that's a fucking dream. Undrafted, three-time champion right in your home. hometown. You played 20 years. <laughs> Facts. An integral part, you know, played his key role, played his part, like you said, in the first t- championship. And then what I want to give him a shout-out for to me is the hardest part of what he did was sitting there knowing he's not going to play and still have the right attitude, energy, help direct the young boys, yes. help keep the organization, you know, doing his part to keep the organization on track. Cause Jack, you know, like it's hard. I mean, it's hard for me to sit on the bench and coach my kids. I yeah. couldn't imagine, you know, sitting with all due respect, maybe his last four or five years, he didn't get a chance to play, uh, you know, play mm-hmm. as much or, 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 or hardly, but the, he kept the right energy, the right spirit. Remember he checked and almost had to put hands on Jimmy at one mm-hmm. point, And I think that team needed that. So to me, just a consummate pro man, 20 years, again, three chips, uh, definitely shout out to our brother UD. Yes, sir. Now to the bullshit. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> always what up, Paul man. did. Yeah. Well, so what, what what were your thoughts, you know, when when you seen OG Burnt, you know, uh, say what he said? You know, man, one thing about us, man, and, I, you know, that's why people come at us a lot. We, we cool with disagreeing. Like, you can disagree with us. It don't bother us. You know what I'm saying? Like, when P said that, P entitled his opinion. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I, I look at it totally different. You know, P, P had his battles with them guys. You know what I'm saying? They they probably got some type of beef or some type, some type of uh, situation from when they played. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? They both my partners. But regardless how somebody else feels about somebody, I don't dictate the, me showing them love or how I feel about them. You know, they got their own thing. I'm, right. I'm, I don't give people right. shit. Yeah. I mean, no, no, they definitely got smoke. I think on uh, UD and Mike Miller's podcast, their new podcast, OGs or something like that. Uh, mm-hmm. Forgive me for mispronouncing if that ain't it. He said, I, and I just saw the clip. I didn't see the episode. He said he'll, it's on site still with Ticket and, <laughs> and Paul that he would slap him in a grocery store Man. or some shit like that. So I guess that was just kind of <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> so I just, that was just I, I think that was just P's rebuttal. And and, yeah. and to be honest with you, obviously, I don't want to see no funk, but I think it's funny. I, I think it's dope. Again, yeah. them guys battled. You know what I mean? And it went back and forth and, you know, won championships and lost championships because of each other. So I think it's good to, to, to see uh, a little bit of old man, you know, reliving the, the glory days and talking their shit. But, uh, you know, I definitely think, again, obviously UD is not a Hall of Famer, but he's a role player mm-hmm. and, he, and he's a leader. And, and that's what I respect. And like you said, a lot of us will never see that, but we're similar. Hey, let me say one more thing. If any player that comes to the NBA could be a lifer with any organization, they would love that. They would die for that. Come on, man. A team you played for, on, you man. bled for, and gave championship to, and you still can be a part of it when you retire and still make good money. Like, every player would want that. So don't knock don't knock UD for that. This time, it involves our own boogie. <laughs> part of our collective group here, as you know, includes Steven Jackson, includes Paul Pierce, and they've both been involved in a storyline with Udonis Haslam. <laughs> This week. Oh, yes. UD's number, his name went up in the rafters in Miami after 20 years being such a core part of that team. 
I personally was thrilled to see Udonis go up there. I think he absolutely is etched on that franchise's history. Steven Jackson apparently agrees with me. He did this whole post on Instagram, tribute to UD, one of the realest guys to do it. You know, and he pointed out this was earned, not given. He, he went through this whole list of accolades for Haslam. And just at the bottom in a comment there on the post is our friend Paul Pierce saying, nah, man. <laughs> given not earned, which has now caused a lot of back and forth. So I don't know, maybe you're the tiebreaker in our group here. We had Steven Jackson pro. We had Paul definitely con. I want to know where you are and, and what you think of Paul, as usual, making trouble. With this man, team. you just, you got to love Paul, man. I'm going to start off with that. You just got to love Paul. But back to this, um, <laughs> it's absolutely deserved. Uh, UD is a huge part of that heat culture. Um, obviously, when it comes to, you know, the criteria of getting your jersey retired, it's it's a certain standard that goes amongst the league. But also with that being said, the Miami Heat organization works off their own standard. They've created their own standard. They've always operated yes. differently than the rest of the NBA. So yep. uh, they set their own criteria. And uh, mm-hmm. A huge part of that is Udonis Haslam. He's the OG. You know, that's what they call him. He's well-respected yep. within the organization, within the locker room. Um, he's a huge part of the reason the culture is the way it is. And, um, you know, it is it is deserved. So uh, when, when you think about it from their standard, uh, obviously Paul can, you know, have his <laughs> opinion. He's... <laughs> He's a Hall of Fame player. He he comes from he an is. organization of you his know, numbers some of the up in the Raptors in Boston Garden. <laughs> Absolutely, and Boston has some of the greatest players to ever lace them up. So uh, it's a mm-hmm. different criteria when it comes to Boston. But uh, like I said, when it comes to Heat culture, when you think about it, Yadonis Hassam is the first person that comes to mind. Outside of you know D Wade, but when it comes to you know pushing the culture and preaching the culture, yes. it's UD. So uh, yeah. I do believe it's deserved. Um, I, I think most of the league has a lot of love for UD and the way he carries himself, the way he goes about being a professional, the way he takes the young guys under his wing and, you know, just teaches the game and is always dropping knowledge. So, uh, you know, the mommy, he also have Dan Marino and Michael Jordan hanging up. Like, like I said, they, <laughs> they just operate on their own they have terms. Their own. And yes. They, they do it their way. So, uh, to yeah. each his own and, uh, with that being said, congratulations to UD, man. Well deserved, brother. And those numbers going up in the rafters of each building, no matter what city you're in, are about what you meant to the franchise. It's not the Hall of yes. Fame, right? We have a basketball Hall of Fame to judge where you are in the greater scheme of the NBA and NBA history and all of that stuff. The numbers going up in the rafters are about what you meant to the team that is deciding to put them up. So to your point, the Heat have their own system, their own set of values. He certainly qualifies. But even in just sort of one of these other teams' systems of values, Udonis meant enough to that franchise that in any of those other buildings, if he had done the same thing, I believe his number would still be going up. I mean, he has just been a core, core part of who that team has been. 20 years is a very, very, very long time. So few guys have done it with one team So I, nowadays. So I just... I, I don't think there's any question, but I appreciate that Paul Pierce can just not help himself when it comes to that <laughs> Miami franchise and that era and how things ended up with them. So I, I just, I, I don't know if he thinks he can go back and, and, and win a playoff series that they didn't just through all of these comments. But, you know, I, he's, he's also gotten himself in trouble this week with someone over in the NFL who plays for the Bucks. So, you know, he's got a lot on his plate right now with all of the yeah. That he has started. You gotta love <laughs> Paul. You gotta love him, man. You gotta love him. We love him. We love you, Paul Beers. <laughs> we love you.